Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new DJI FPV controller on Mac with the uh, this game Lift Off. So the reason I got the game Lift Off, Lift Off is because I kind of got boring on the same um, simulator with the DJI. The game run is really good. Actually, it's, um, it's really good because you you can put it in sport mode and manual. And with lift up, you don't have that option. You only have like, I guess kind of like a full manual. And with this DJI simulator, it's more really similar to the actual thing. The lift up is more like to practice um, how to fly it. So I was trying to look online how to connect this to the Mac, and I didn't can find any video. That's why I'm making this video because I only can find the other one, the old one. So it was it took me like a two me took me a little bit of research to in order to find out how to connect it. So in order to connect it you need um I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot it because to be honest, I don't know exactly which one it fix it. So let me get on my, my computer and um I'll show you what you need to do in order to fix it. So when you first start the game, it's not gonna show you here right away in the menu. What it's gonna do is it's gonna show you like a like an intro, I guess, and automatically right away it's gonna tell you to connect a controller. And if you connect it, it won't it won't read it. So what I had to do is I had to go to Google and at here for chat DJI FPB um, assistance, I believe. I think that's the program that like, it's like the drives. Yeah, so you go to DJI um, assist, assistance and then you just um, download it and then open it. And after you open it, uh, let me go in so you can see what it what it is. So after you go in, it's gonna tell you to connect um, the controller or whatever you have. So I turn on the uh, the remote and nothing happens. So I don't know if this is the case that it fixed it. So later what I did is I closed the program, this uh, game fully, like fully close it. And then it showed this menu, the one I, I'm on it right now. Actually, another thing that it could be if it is not a software issue with the drives, because after I got the DJI Assistant 2, it nothing really happened. I changed the cable because right now I have USB-C to USB-C. And for some reason, my Mac, it won't read it, but when I connect it to a regular USB, and I connect it to a dongle, and then the USB-C to the remote, it does work for some reason, so I don't know why it has that problem. So you need to go ahead and uh, set it up with the uh, with the cable that comes with, and for some reason it does work. So like that right now, I have it USB-C as USB-C. I went to the control settings, and the software the software is not even reading it. So um, I'm gonna change this, and you're gonna see now that it does work. So after you plug in your cable and remember you had to plug in the with the USB A to USB C because for some reason if you connect USB C USB C to straight to the Mac it won't read it. I don't know why. Um so that might be the issues the first option to try and I'm pretty sure that's the one that you need to try first don't even try the the dji assistant because i don't think that even does anything you try to do the cable like this um the one that i comes with and then so you're gonna go to the options controls and then you're gonna click here on controllers and then after that you're gonna uh, click here to calibrate and then here you're gonna do the star calibration. I'm not gonna do it because it takes some time I'm trying to hurry up and make this video. But after you start the calibration, and then it's pretty much what it's gonna do is gonna tell you to move the stick. As you can tell, 
um, move it this state here and it actually moved on the screen and it actually has on the it show you on the little screen that had the drum moves like how you have it set up at what it does so like the altitude so it's kind of like the same so let's go here to actually try it out so you can see that it does work i've seen a lot of videos that it does work but they won't show how to actually set up the controller with the new one so it's actually it's pretty simple um so let's go quick play i'm not really good at it so um i'm just gonna show you that it does work i'm not gonna show you how to play flying or anything like that anything crazy the main reason i got this is because the headsets it gave me like lightheaded after probably like 10 minutes and give me lightheaded i guess because it's right on my face um so i figured i would let like, try it in the computer because it's more like a video game i'm used to video games since and um and flying video games and racing in games like that so i don't think it will have a problem and so far it, it has been working down for me better so it pretty much here in the corner is going to tell you like how to do it and then it's going to tell you list off and obviously um i'm not good at it i forgot how to do this as you can tell i'm crashing everywhere but it does work i'm like really terrible at it that's why i haven't tried fpv yet on my on my dji yet because as you can tell i'm terrible so so i hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching